My first club was Olympia Tienen. 30 minutes from Leuven, that was the only one that we knew of at that time. I think, or in my opinion, that as a young rider you doing, you can do everything. I even won <clears throat> mountain days, mountain days as a junior uh, and before, or climb, climbing races as a, as a 15 or 16 year old. So I think in the, in the, yeah, in the younger days you, you actually are good in everything and then going Towards under 23, I think you get more. You find out which way you're going to end up. For me, there, there has been a difference between I can be or I will be. Um, I think the easiest was after I was world champion. I knew that anyway, I was gonna have the chance to be a professional rider. I don't remember really like the, the day like. That's the day that I that I realized this or, or, or said it to myself. But I think like more the the international races that came from I think the, the, when I was 16, but then mostly uh, second uh, first year junior. Uh, so when I was 17, um, I kind of liked it. I liked the international scene, the comp competition to, to to see who is also out there, and I think that's that's when I think of the biggest boost or, or really the the biggest push to that I wanted to become a professional cyclist. It took a while before I was really sure that Trek was going to be owner um, of the team. Um, but of course, I, I went twice, I think, yeah, twice. I went already to Waterloo and meet, met all the people there, um, got the support uh, riding on Trek and, and everything around that. And it gave me a good feeling. I was well supported. I felt welcome there, felt part of, of, of the family, let's say, and of course that really um, yeah, wanted me to, to join the team and then I think never, they never put me down and, and I think they, they know what, what they have when, when I'm there and I know what, what, what I can do with them and yeah, it's just a, a good feeling to be, to be on this team and a good, uh, a good relationship that we have been building. Uh, over the years and a nice uh, story we have been writing over the years, I think, as well. Okay. I, I don't want to be the guy that is giving this idea that they can't talk to me or they can't ask me a question and uh, um, it's not that I go to the first camp and really think, okay, those new guys, first day I need to talk to them, but uh, I think it's important that if you run into them or, or you're next to them on the bike or at the table, that you, yeah, that you make them uh, part of the conversation and, and listen to their story and what they have to say. I don't have to choose that. You want me to bring a bottle for you? No, no. I think cycling is, is just as any other sport or even as <clears throat> any other business or, or big company. Uh, it's not about, it's not only about the results, it's about what you do with everyone around it to, to push each other to, yeah, to motivate each other to get the best out of each other to help the guy next to you even become better and that maybe makes you better. Um, I really believe that it's not about I'm the best, I, I get the results so you guys have to help me. I think uh, results are the way you race in the race is made how you treat each other and push each other the months before. Yeah. Unity, fun, confidence, growth and excellence. And I think each one of them really stands out for, for, for maybe more meanings of the word, but I think those five really are a key in, in making a team successful. And uh, you need to be a group that wants to be the best, but also eager to 
to always look for opportunities and push each other to, to keep growing. From being a helper to being a leader, I think we always can learn and grow. And uh, yeah, believe that we are the best. I think as a sportsman, it's, it's one of the key things that you need to, to be up there if you go to a race with the thought that maybe, maybe if you're lucky, you can do a top five. But it's really, if we're really lucky, then I think it's always going to be super hard and you need to go to the race and, and think that, think and believe that you're the best. For me, Roubaix is just like any other big race, just because it's, it's a race you prepare for mentally to be super strong. And of course, physically, yeah, you try to be in the best possible shape. Um, I think the biggest difference comes with material. Um, it's, it's a very specific material demanding day. So you want to make sure that those things are really on point and, and, and working and, and, and feeling smooth and, and that you feel confident on, on, on your setup. Um, I think there's the biggest difference. The love of the race is, is really made in 2010 when I won it as a world champion junior. Just the way I rode that day, but also with all the public on the side. Because we raced in the morning of the, of the pros um, as a Belgian, as world champion, there's a lot of Belgians on the roads that day. So you get what you never experienced as a junior, I think, because there's never that many fans on the road as a junior. Getting to the, to the velodrome in Roubaix and this atmosphere that was there when I won it, it it's, uh, it's something that really um, yeah, made, uh, made me love the race. The body's feeling sore and then you hit those, yeah, just, I don't know, such a rough section that uh, that makes it that makes it just so hard. Yeah. Now, of course, there's a few sec sectors that I that I that I like more than others, but uh, we cannot make the competition smarter than than they should be. Yeah, I think winning Roubaix would be yeah lost for words already. So <laughs> I don't know.